So today is Friday and as we all know Fridays are for testing and today I'll be testing beer coasters. Not so much beer coasters but uh, testing how to make beer coasters out of bottle caps. So um, if you saw my previous uh, video on the table, bottle cap table that I created using the epoxy resin, I still have quite a bit of epoxy left over so this is the epoxy with the, the hardener and I decided to, to uh, create some small projects. Um, you can see over here I have my beer on top of my uh, beer coaster. If I take that off, you can see the coaster has uh, seven be uh, beer caps on there. Incidentally, these beer caps correspond to the beer. So uh, if you have a favorite beer, you could, you could do that. And uh, at the bottom, I've added some cork. So it makes a nice, uh, nice coaster to, to enjoy your beer with. I'll put that aside for the moment. So you can see I've made quite a few. Uh, here we have the Münchener Lager. Here I have a, a number of different beers from uh, the testing that I did from Beers of the World. Um, and over here you have the um, Lindener Special. So this is a beer coming from Hanover. Uh, you can see I've got quite a few of those uh, because it's probably the most common beer that I'm drinking. You can see over here we have the Erdinger and also uh, beer coasters with beer caps from uh, um, Hamburg and this is another beer local to, to Hanover the Herrenhauser beer and yeah the list goes on as you can see I've been quite busy I've made quite a few and uh, they're quite nice I really like them so as I mentioned I had quite a, quite a lot of epoxy resin left over from the, the, the table that I made um, what I've also done I've purchased some molds you can see these are um, latex molds that I, I purchased. I didn't really use these that much. I didn't really like them. Uh, instead, I used these molds that you can see in front of me. Um, I did, however, use this mold here to create one, one um, coaster. That was this one over here. You can see uh, instead of a bottle cap, it's quite a thin uh, mold. So instead of having a bottle cap inside there, I just put in the Friday for testing uh, sticker. And at the back we have uh, again the the cork bottom or cork base. So it's also quite nice, but it's quite small, and I didn't really like the lips, so I only made one of those. The rest I used uh, these molds that you see in front of me. So the process is quite easy. Um, first, you fill the the, the mold up uh, to to about less than a centimeter. Um, I actually did a test. This didn't work so well. So this is uh, how, how thick I would normally uh, pour it. I think uh, to pour a little bit less in there is a little bit better. So you actually want your bottle cap to, to fit in here when you pour the rest of the, the resin over it. So um, this was the first one I did. It didn't really work. But what you see in front of here, this is a uh, mold with some resin already poured in there. And I will be gluing these caps on top there. You can see on the second mold over here, I've already gone through that process. I've glued the bottle caps on top and I've poured the, the final layer of the resin on top there. If you see, I can actually take these out. They've already quite hard. This is of uh, Polana Munchen uh, Weiss beer. Uh, put that to the side. And here we have another one, a Munchen Lager. And I can't remember what this one was. Uh, this is again the Polana. So I made two Polanas there. And the mold basically looks like this. It's a uh, latex, so it's a rubbery mold. You can use it multiple times. Um, I've seen people use different kinds of molds. You could maybe make it out of wood or cardboard, however you want it. But I found that these, these types of molds work pretty well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue these uh, caps onto to, to the mold over here and then we can fill it up with the epoxy.
Great. So um, these are ones that I, I recently finished. It's the same as these ones over here. So you can see at the bottom here, it has a bit of a, a lip. So when you're putting it into, when it's going into the mold, it's, it's coming this way, facing down. That's why I had to glue the, the, the caps facing down. Um, if you use a clear a clear glue, you won't really see any um, any any uh, evidence of the glue that was used. So uh, just test that before you you make your 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 um, coasters because different glue may may impact with different different kinds of resin uh, depending on the chemicals used. But in general, the effect that I had was quite good. Um, I did notice that some of the caps, uh, for ex for example, over here. If your caps are damaged, uh, you do get uh, bubbles underneath, and uh, it's maybe maybe best to to find caps that are not broken. So this one over here is an example. You can see there's a big air bubble underneath there. Uh, air bubbles on the surface and the back you can easily get out with a, a heat gun, but um, if it's underneath the the cap that's broken, uh, it's not going to be that great. So. I liked using the cap boom uh, cap opener because it opens the caps from underneath. So if you have a look at this beer over here, you're opening it from underneath and you're not damaging the, the bottle cap. So um, try make sure you've, you you get some good bottle caps. Once you, you've finished with it, so when you have, have this product over here, uh, I take the, the cork, I cut it into the shape of the, the coaster and I stick it underneath. You can see this is a uh, adhesive strip and uh, you can just cut it into the shape that you need it and uh, glue that on underneath here. Once you've glued it underneath um, you can see that it's got some jagged edges over here compared to the other ones. These ones I've already sanded but uh, this one over here still needs to be, be sanded so I'll do that uh, a bit later. So once, you, once you've got this far, you can get your epoxy resin. I've already uh, mixed mine, so the, the ratio that I, I mix the resin is 60 to 40. So 60% of the epoxy and 40% of uh, the hardener. So it's important to, to mix it up because if you don't mix it properly, you will have a, a, a gooey mess. I've done a lot of tests. Um, I said these ones didn't work so well, but I have another batch that didn't work and uh, this was done a couple of weeks ago and the epoxy never really uh, hardened. So it's very important to mix it and uh, give it a, a proper consistency. So I, I will do that. Let's put that here for now. So to mix it, it's quite, quite uh, to pour it, it's quite basic. All you just do is pour it over your... Um, caps one word that I'd recommend is to make sure when you're gluing your caps that you've glued them properly um, I normally leave it for a few hours before I pour it but for for video purposes I think this is okay uh, the reason I say that you should um, uh, glue your caps properly because if you don't they might uh, float to the surface and you would have an uneven um, uh, caps would be 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 laid uneven. So you can see that that's that's about enough. Um, let's just put this over here, and that's basically it. I don't know if you can see on the camera, uh, but there's a lot of bubbles. So I have this uh, torch gun, and this is actually quite fun to do. And uh, all you do is you just you just give it some heat and. Uh, the bubbles will go away. Good, so that is that is pretty much the process in a nutshell. So first thing I do, I create a, um, uh, I pour the, the, the epoxy resin into the, the mold about so much. Once that's done, I put the caps as I showed you and then I pour, it, uh, pour the resin onto the, the surface of the caps and that would take about 48 hours to dry or to get hard. Once it's hard, I'll take it out of the mold and it will look, look something like this. It does have a little bit of a lip over here. So you can sand that, but I didn't really sand it. I just glued it onto uh, the cork uh, surface and then, so, and then sanded it a bit over here. So again, 
this is the finished product and I think they're quite nice and uh, quite handy to use so yeah that is my one of my projects that I did for the the corona lockdown um, let me know what you think in the comments